Yes boys, welcome back to the Pro Tactic video series. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the 4-2-1-3 formation, including tactics, which is the most used formation by pro players. For the competitive players out there who are joining the coming eFootball Open League starting this month, this formation might be a good and solid formation for you to use. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of my past 2021 content. And for now, enjoy this video. Okay, to start off with, we're gonna go to the preset tactics and then select the 4 2 1 3 formation, or also known as the standard 4 3 3. As you can see, we've got two center backs, two side backs, two defensive midfielders, an attacking midfielder, two wingers, and a striker. We will turn the two side backs into center backs, which gives you a very solid defense in the center area, as most pro players like to attack through the middle. In the midfield, we turn one of the defensive midfielders into a center midfielder to have a balanced midfield in both attacking and defending. And finally up front we turn the wingers into central forwards to have three strikers sticking close to each other. The reason for having three central forwards is that most pro players like to make use of one two passes to get through their opponent's defense. And with having players close to each other it will only simplify playing that way. Okay so this is how the formation and positions should look like. We now move on to the attacking instructions. As I mentioned in the last video, the most efficient way and the only way to go is by playing counter-attack. Your players will make runs forwards, looking to get themselves into threatening areas as quick as possible. In the build-up, we switch it to long pass, as you should be playing a direct playing style within this formation, and your players will make deeper runs, which will bring them closer to the goal. Position-wise, your players have to try to maintain their team's overall shape, and you should play as much as you can through the center because finally you want to build automatism in your style to become a consistent competitive player. You don't want your players to spread themselves out too far from each other so stick to a support range between 3 and 5. For the defensive instructions you have to stick to all out defense as most competitive players you're playing against play on counter attack. And to keep pulling out all the time makes you fragile in the transition. The containment area really depends on what formation your opponent is using and also what style he is playing. If your opponent is making use of a formation with wingers, you should set the containment area on white. But I assume most of the players you'll be facing will be playing through the middle, so setting it at center will mostly do. Like I said before, to keep pulling out on every part of the pitch will make you fragile in the defense. To give you more time to properly position your players defensively, set the pressure to conservative. Switch it to aggressive if you think that your opponent is getting too much space. If you set your defensive line as high as possible, you will have a lot of space behind you for your players to run back to. And this works quite well while playing on all-out defense and defending conservative. Finally, set the compactness between 6 and 9 to give your opponent a hard time to get through your defense. Alright boys, we've come to the last part of the video. There's not much you have to use in advanced instructions. The only instruction which can make a difference is using defensive on your defensive midfielder. This will make sure that the player will remain from pushing forward in the attack and will also save lots of stamina. Additionally, you can make use of counter targets on one or two of your central forwards, but I personally won't use it, because it reduces the amount of runs your attackers are making, and it will keep them hanging up front, which I don't like. But yeah, that's a personal matter, and I leave that up to you guys. And again, finally, this is not the best formation or tactics for everyone. Try it out for yourself and adjust the things you want to change to make it playable for yourself. If you want to achieve great results, you have to work for it, and you can only do that by yourself. Alright guys, so as in the last video, I got some gameplay highlights of me playing with this formation and tactics. It's personally not my favorite formation to use, but yeah, there's a reason that it's being used by most pro players. So yeah, hopefully this might help you to improve your game. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to see more pro tactic videos. And let me know in the comment section what formations or content you would like to see in the next videos. For now, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Peace.